Craig, Happy New Year. It's been a very exciting time for the Rangers Academy and B team as we head into the second half of the season. I think the first point is obviously a big move for Nathan Patterson. He started at the academy and worked his way up to the first team. As head of the academy, how proud are you to see Nathan make that next step in his career? Yeah, I think the last 10 days or so have been big, some big moments for the academy and it's probably a culmination of a lot of work that started six years ago. And yes, the head of academy, I'm very proud of the move that Nathan's made. But I think when you look at all the people that have contributed to Nathan's development, we've got to remember there's a really romantic sort of story in here that he joined us at the age of eight. John McPherson, one of our scouts, is out watching him playing for Ross Vale. And I think to, for a scout, to see someone they've spotted in a football pitch at age eight, then go and make a record transfer move for our football club um, is a massive moment for him. But all the coaches, sports scientists, analysts, player care team, everybody has contributed on that journey is important. But I also think for the football club it's an important moment. It's great for Nathan as an individual and hopefully all the things that we've introduced like best free best programmes and a lot more contact time and the exposure he's had to the first team has helped us get a player of that calibre. But for, for the club, I think it's important. The club invests a lot of money in the academy and the board have been fantastic uh, backing us, uh, backing all the staff, backing the programmes as one to do. And when you look at Nathan's journey, you look at Billy Gilmore's journey, you see even player sales from the likes of Nathan Young Coombs and Deary Maboud and Ross McCrory. When you contribute all that income, what that does is it means we produce a real return on investment for the, for the club.